Jazz Piano College had a request to do Dream a Little Dream of Me. I found one chart in a kind of obscure real book, and so I'll put that up there. But I'm also going to write my own chart, which is kind of the uh, version that Mama Cass does, that we're probably most familiar with. And what's really amazing about this song, uh, let me see if I can play a little bit of it first before I... No, that's not right. Yeah, what's really amazing about this song is the chart has the bridge going to one key, but Mama Gas goes to a different key. It's a half step different. And then the uh, transition coming back to the A section is a little awkward, but we're used to it by now, so we, we, we accept it. So uh, I'll do the uh, Mama Cass version first. Hopefully I'll have a chart up there that I've written out. So uh, let's start with C6. And then, you know, the guitar player she uses goes to like this diminished chord, which is really technically an E flat diminished, but he plays it as an F sharp diminished, which of course is really the same chord, but you know, the bass note does make a difference. It goes that way. Now I prefer to just go like that, but you know, either way it's good. And then, walks down to the A, but there really is a bad dissonance in there. Right there. You don't really notice it on the record, but um, you know, I think if you're working on your own arrangement, you might want to try to find a better way of doing that. Like you could just go to the A. And to me, it kind of feels like you should kind of keep a, a little pulse going maybe in this song. Now here you could go to the four chord and make it a minor there. And so that's F major sixth and then F minor sixth. However, sometimes you hear it this way, D minor seventh to D minor seven flat five, which is exactly the same thing. You know, F sixth is the same as D minor seventh, and F minor sixth is the same as D minor seven flat five. And that's why in old charts, you rarely see a minor seven flat five. You almost always see it as a minor six chord. And I believe that's how, you know, a lot of the old school uh, musicians. Uh, even Art Tatum probably thought more of that as a minor six chord than as a half diminished chord, though who knows. And then in the original, and I don't know, I have to check like Doris Day's version of this to see if, if it really goes this way. The original was kind of like, like this. But uh, Mama Cass just does more like the second ending melody with the chords. Uh... Second ending. And even when playing in this style, I know many people will tell you, you know, always like inverts chords to keep the, uh, the voice leading smooth. But, you know, a bass player is going to hit the roots. So it usually is going to sound pretty good to keep the roots on the bottom where they belong. Now, Here's where it gets kind of crazy. In the original, it goes to A flat. However, in Mama Cass's version, it goes to A. Now, how do they do that? I kind of forget how they do that. Mm-hmm.
Okay, <laughs> pretty simple. Dream of me. Just, you know, precedes it with the whatever dominant chord leads up to A. And then that's an E. And then we get to uh, the bridge. So we're in A. Now, if you want to put it where she's actually singing it, it's here. If you, you want to play it up here, that's fine. And this is why piano players sometimes will transpose something into a completely different key, just to get the melody to, uh, to lie in a convenient spot so they can do nice chords. You know, it's a little low, trying to do that melody down there. So we'll do it up here first. And then I'll do it down here instead. I think that's the way I like it the best. And right there, you know, if it was the original arrangement, we'd be going to D flat there, but they just slide down to G like this. It's a little awkward, but you know, we've heard it so many times that this is, this is the way the song goes. You know? Then we're back to... This would make, make a nice stride song, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, be a lot of fun. Okay, now I said I'd cover the other version, but I think I'll just put the uh, chart down there in the description along with the, the chart that I will write for um, the Mama Cass version of this song. And if you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe. And uh, thanks a lot. Bye.